In Guatemala, near the ruins of the ancient Maya city of Tikal, lies the deepest lake in the Central American lowlands, Lake Peten Itza. Here, scientists are finding clues to one of the pressing scientific mysteries of our time. What makes the climate change? This lake is, for us geologists, kind of a jewel of the lowlands here in the, in the, in the tropical area because at the bottom of this lake, uh, the sediments that are accumulated, they record all the environmental changes that occur around the lake and especially the climate changes that occur here in the area. This archive of climate change has been largely inaccessible until very recently. Now, new drilling technology is allowing an international team of scientists to drill down through the thick sediments beneath Lake Peten Itza and bring up an unbroken history told in mud and sand. Working 12-hour shifts from a specially constructed floating platform, the scientists and drillers are bringing up sediment cores from as deep as 130 meters below the floor of the lake. Being in the platform is very uh, amazing because everything is very coordinated and uh, the drillers are uh, putting all the tubes there and taking the core and then the scientists are just uh, taking the cores and cutting them and label them and taping them and just putting it ready to go to the lab. Analyzing the sediments, which date from modern times to as far back as 100,000 years ago, the scientists hope to shed light on natural changes in the climate, as well as human effects on the environment. One of the things we're interested in understanding is potential linkages or interactions between the climate, the environment, uh, and the Maya uh, civilization that occupied uh, this region, well, beginning almost 4,000 years ago. The Maya abandoned their majestic cities about a thousand years ago. Is it possible that human pressure on the environment hastened the demise of their civilization? Clues are being found in a thick band of sediment that scientists call the Maya clay. We interpret Maya clay as an erosional deposit uh, that was a consequence of widespread deforestation from about 3,000 roughly to 1,000 years ago when this area was densely populated uh, by the ancient Maya and they cleared much of the land for agriculture and for building settlements. The Maya clay is found in just the top few meters of sediment beneath the lake. As the drillers pull up cores from deeper down, the sediments begin to reflect the climate and environment of the last ice age between 10 and 80,000 years ago. We know a lot about the last ice age from ice cores, uh, for example, taken uh, on Greenland. And what those studies have found is that there were incredibly abrupt changes uh, that occurred during the last ice age where temperature increased or decreased by 10 to 15 degrees in the matter of uh, less than 50 years. Similar abrupt climate swings have now been confirmed in the tropics as well, thanks to the work at Lake Peten Itza. Which leads to a critical question. Will the climate change catastrophically again, with devastating consequences for life on Earth? The sediments from Lake Peten Itza may help to reveal the answer, as scientists continue to analyze them. I think it's important that people understand how climate has changed uh, in the past. Uh, we're living in a time now where, where climate is likely to change, uh, perhaps dramatically, uh, in, in the future. So for example, if we understand how climate may have impacted ancient civilizations such as, uh, as the Maya, uh, I think it makes us realize that humans are actually quite vulnerable to climate change and also the environment in which humans live.